All right, good morning everybody. It's about 6 a.m. Uh, we were up kind of late last night, but RJ and I got everything loaded up. We're about to hit the road for the biggest trip we've had. Uh, I don't think he's ever been to any of these places, and I can't wait to get out there on the road right now and show him. So come with us, let's finish loading up, and we're gonna get on the road. Morning. Morning. So, Arjun and I were just driving along and we both realized that we were about to do something we had never done before. I don't think either of us have ever seen it. No, never. Where are we? Never seen it. We are at Four Corners. Four Mountain. Corners? We are where, what is it? Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, and Arizona all meet. Yep. So we said, what the hell? We're gonna stop, pay the 10 bucks and walk in. So here we go. It is a little wet. Yeah. Get to wipe your it's been raining on us for like the last hour. Well, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was just these holes. Cute, but you were right though, it's a big circle. It is, <laughs> it's just a big circle. So, okay, so Arizona, Utah's over there. That's where we're headed. Colorado, and then New Mexico, which is what we're pretty much in right now. I think we're actually in New Mexico. Yeah, okay, we're gonna walk up this thing. I did, didn't I? <laughs> That's cool. That's nuts. I want to see what's outside everything. Absolutely. Both states. Oh, yep, just walk through Utah. Oh, good job. Both states. <laughs> good job. In case you're wondering why we have our masks on outside, it's because they said they're required on the way in. So we'll entertain that. We'll bring them in. Oh, that's way cooler. That is way cooler. Oh. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know Utah's stunning, but. Yeah, I know. I don't know who comes here to do that. You have to be told this. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> really? Don't dump people's ashes here. Yeah. I mean, I suppose that'd be a cool thing to do for some people, but uh, do you just like stand in one and throw them at the other? Oh, you could throw somebody just two states at <laughs> one could, time. You yeah. could. <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to. Where's I don't mom? trust you She's as far as I can throw you. In Utah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually. Oh, you can see it right here. So there's actually trails out here. If it wasn't raining, I'd like to go out there and walk those trails. I think you can ride bikes out here. But we have quads. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, that would That'd be really cool. That guy's got an electric scooter down there. 
This is cool. This would be amazing. This is really cool. It's uh, Robin Hood men in tights, right? He's like, yes. Look, I'm on the west side. I'm on the east side. Now I'm on the west side. <laughs> now I'm on the east side. <laughs> this ain't exactly the Mississippi. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it. It's getting pretty crowded here, actually. I'm surprised with this much rain, but we're gonna get back on the road and head into Colorado now that we're right there. We made it, made it to Denver. Well, just outside of Denver. Late last night, it was like two in the morning. Got to our friend's house, he's all loaded up. We're all loaded up because we never took anything off the trailer, but we got a little bit of sleep last night. It's about 11 o'clock, and we're gonna head out to IMI Sports Park. We're gonna go riding together. The whole squad's here, RJ, Serge. <laughs> we're all gonna roll out. We're gonna ride IMI Sports Park. This is the first time I've ever seen it. These guys have rode a few times, but it looks like it's gonna be a good time, so let's get out there. IMI Sports Park. This is actually pretty cool. There's a bunch of tracks. I guess ours are way in the back, but you can see people are out here right now ripping around. Unfortunately, I need to go get a new battery. I found out today that mine was dead, so we jumped it and it works, so the thing runs. Uh, it's going to be a little rough because we're at like 5,700 feet, but I'm going to go and get a new battery right now and then we'll get to ripping. That's about it. Perfect. All right, guys, here we are. AMA. Or not AMA. IMI Sports Complex. We're out here at the ATV UTV track because they've got a pro bike track, they've got a practice track, kids track, they've got car circle tracks, they've got a paved track out here for, I think they even do drift events out here. You guys can see all the light poles and everything out there. So we're kind of on the back side of everything. But we've got this pretty sweet looking track. So we're gonna go out and rip it right now and uh, hopefully the dust settles a little bit. There's a little bit of a breeze. And I found out that my battery wasn't quite dead. It started, we'll see if it does it again, but I'm looking forward to this. RJ, you ready yet? I'm old, I'm strong. Okay, he'll be ready. Well, I decided to see you rip the track. What's that? So I see you rip the side of my track. I'm going to, I'm gonna find out how good it is. That's the plan. That, that's a big jump right there. That's a big table. Okay, right in the middle? Right in the middle there. Okay, the one that you enter on? So not that. This one right here is the big table. You'll come around a big... Oh, that right there. And then you'll be able to hit it like mine. I can hit it almost in third gear right there. Okay. Well, let's go check this out. Oh, right away. Love that. Zombie quad.
That is a lot of fun. Oh, there you go, RJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, getting thirsty. It's about 90 degrees up here, and I think 5,700 feet altitude. Is that what it is? 5,700 feet. Yeah. It's up here. Right. I'm running around the track full bore, and then there's all these people just like pulling in from random places, just cruising. So I was like, oh no. Oh, 
a place where they can jump in and then over on the right far okay turn, that's it I, didn't, I thought like else. you always enter here but people are coming in from the back side is there another track over there no there's just a lot of you know that big thing so if you take this flat over yeah. here yeah it will take you all the way to that first turn and then that's where people join in okay they just gotcha. sit up there because it's like, it's like I could see you even though I was in the dust cloud. Oh, I couldn't see shit. <laughs> yeah, well, so he was telling me that they come in from different areas and they just feed into the track. They just cut right in front of Yeah, you. but luckily I had a couple of people actually looking back and they just like peeled off to the right side. I was like, okay, cool, I got plenty of room on the left. He finally let me go after I called him for a while. Tried to throw a little. Jeez. Popping worse than mine. I tried to throw a little Bo Baron past him, you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. That was good. A lot of this is really like hard packed dirt. Um, it's already, I like, it's really loose on top, but there's enough dirt in the corners you can get some grip, but everything is so glazed over, I should say. Like, a lot of people have run over these, so the lifts are kind of gone. But all in all, the track is really flowy and really fun. So, it's a good time. Come on out here. 25 bucks for as long as you want. <laughs> I'd do that. Let's see if RJ can clear this table. He keeps saying he wants to practice it. It's fourth gear pin and you can barely get to the other side. Come on, RJ. Nice and smooth, bud. Nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, like halfway. That's so hard to do. Oh, carry that speed. More power. He's trying. There's just nothing left on that. Good effort. Good effort. Going for it, we're gonna do a time lap. RJ 20493. Yep. All right, here we go. I gotta try to beat that.
bad news. <laughs> What's that? No. I slowed down. <laughs> I definitely forgot about that shorter tabletop and I hit it like the roller and I was like, oh yeah, I can jump this one a little. Gotcha. Yeah, just a little. So, that's what I did RJ, work. you've ridden a stock one because that's what yours was first. Yeah. But, uh, boy, this is your first time ever riding like a modded yeah. YFZ. What's it, the it's, difference? It's, what it's, not, it's not even like the same plot. Like, literally, it's not even the same plot. The power band may be, be only because you're still pick up in the second half on the YFZ. Right. So, like, no matter what, it's the top end power, but it lays into corners. You can, you can chuck it. You can, it, it just kind of like you can point the thing. 
pin it and it'll slide out. The tires also appear a lot um, more, I don't know how to side by think they are. The side by that's the yeah. GPS gold speed. They seem to like start sliding and then they bite all of a sudden just shoot you straight. Yes. I've heard a lot about the stock YFZ tires are really slippery. The maxes are Yeah, they're really slippery. Okay. So they don't bite, I mean, he's got gold speeds on there and they bite like crazy, but. So it feels that I can ride this one. I don't know if it's my experience level or what it is, but I can take this one faster through those, you know, the ones that are facing to the left, right because here. Because you don't have yeah. that much side line. Okay. Later. Holy cow, it got windy really fast. Okay, so apparently this lady rolled up and said we have about 40 minutes of daylight left. So I'm gonna take the stalker out. Go give it a rip. Oh yeah, weed whacker. She died. There we go. <laughs> Started right back up. That was weird. Alright. The tires are definitely a little looser. Definitely stiffer. That's for sure. Definitely 
device is being around. That dreaded low end bog is there. Why have these two? <laughs> that was fun. Thanks, boy. On. I love a good rip. It's nice trying something completely bone stock too. Yeah, he doesn't like that low end. That's where it's happy. <laughs> That was good though. Wasn't bad. Definitely stiffer. Yeah, you got a flat track that's fun too. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're gonna go explore a little bit. See what else is out here. We pretty much worn that track up. We're not allowed on the full track out here. We're obviously not allowed on the uh, 50 cc track. But we're actually going to go check out the flat track. <laughs> That's pretty fun, honestly. So what I thought was my last trip, it's not yet my last trip. So now, I can go out, check out this flat track and have a little fun. Let's see what goes on here. What the hell just happened, bro? We just connected on your rear tire. Nope. Alright guys. Well this happened. We uh, made a little front contact with the front tire. And uh I need a new, <laughs> I need a new ball joint, new hind joint here. So uh, hopefully I can get one up in Minnesota ASAP, but uh, that's gonna be hard. So luckily plastics and everything look good. The bars and the hand guards took the most of it. Damn, bro. But it rolled the, uh, no, that was already bent. It rolled the bars back, so I'm gonna have to tip those back up, but everything else looks okay. So, all in all, got pretty lucky. I'm fine. Oh. That's why we wear helmets, everybody. Man. All right, well, that's the end of today at IMI Sports Park. We had a great day, uh, tons of fun. The track is pretty fun, it's fast. And I uh, had a good time until the very end where I snapped my uh, hind joint and bent a vertical pin on the bottom so the honda will not be making the rest of this trip but i say that because i will be making the rest of this trip and i get to ride a new 2020 yfz for the rest of the trip so there's a plus side uh the downside i just have to order new parts so as for you rj i'm okay he tried to run me over and kill me but i'm okay <laughs> did you have a good time though i had a blast so this place is amazing i would give you anything to have a place like this around us somewhere they have four different tracks that we can actually ride on. Oh, it's it's non-stop. It's yeah. non-stop all day. You can come here in the morning and you don't have to leave until dark. For 25 bucks. It's a good time. Yes. This place is amazing. 25 bucks. Come out here. Rip all day. 
have a good time i i can't argue with that no uh so i guess we're packed up we're gonna go back sleep through the night and then uh tomorrow morning we're gonna head out and finish out this trip and um yeah, I guess I'm riding and a 2020 YFC now. Yamaha for me. Yeah, Yamaha for me. Everybody calm down. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you on the next one.